Former federal prosecutor and executive director of Right on Crime, Brett Tolman, joins us right on time to talk about this. Hey, Brett, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. Over on the big wall, we've got five faces. And this morning, you are going to essentially tell us a little bit about each of these five people so that we can figure out how it all begins. And obviously, Michael Sussman is on trial for lying to the FBI. Tell us about him. You know, Michael Sussman is a former federal prosecutor, so imagine what it must be like to be on the other end of a, of a case. He's now the defendant being prosecuted by John Durham, who's a federal prosecutor. And so it's it's got to be a surreal experience. But he's there because he clearly lied um, regarding a very important and key fact, and that was that he was representing the Clinton campaign when right. he reached out to the FBI in order to try to get them to investigate allegations about Mr. Trump at the time. That's right, because uh, Mr. Sussman took a bunch of stuff, turned out not to be true, to the FBI and said, hey, I'm not working for anybody, but you should look into this stuff. Trump is so dirty. Uh, OK, so he was working on behalf of the Clinton campaign. And then the next head over on the big wall is Mark Elias. He's the general counsel to Hillary's campaign. That's right. And he's a partner, a law partner, of Mr. Sussman. And so it's it's pivotal. You can imagine he doesn't want to directly contact uh, the FBI and he'll be a key witness in, in Durham's uh, in prosecution. He's going to be perhaps a hostile witness, which will allow, you know, the prosecution to to push and press him to, to reveal information. So he'll be a very credible witness uh, to a jury that's listening to him. Meanwhile, in the center stage, we've got Christopher Steele. Everybody knows his story, ex-spy, hired by F Fusion GPS to put together this dirty dossier. And then that turned out to be a bunch of made-up stuff. Yeah, this is, you know, this is that character in, in the James Bond vernacular. This would be M. He was in charge of the MI6 office, and then he left, and he established his own uh, intelligence firm. And from there was hired, hired by Elias to come up with opposition research, which, you know, we know as the Steele dossier that was later proven to, mm -hmm. to be very inaccurate and unreliable. Next person over, Andrew McCabe. He got fired from the FBI over line to the FBI, uh, which is very embarrassing. Well, it is. And he lied four times, three under oath. He's the individual that at the FBI, I mean, he was in charge at the time. Comey, you know, eventually got dismissed and he became the center of an uh, uh, inspector general investigation. And he was one that also acknowledged that the Steele dossier was the reason they went to the FISA court and right. got those secret FISA war uh, warrants. And the final person we're talking about is John Durham. He's the special counsel. And unlike Robert Mueller's uh, investigation, Brett, you know, the Mueller camp leaked every day. John Durham has had a virtually leak-free prosecution. He has. He's very accustomed to these sensitive uh, public corruption type investigations. He led an investigation in Washington, D.C. on the CIA destroying evidence. He, he is a 35 year federal prosecutor and the team around him consists of some AUSAs from around the country, some of whom I know, and they are very, very serious attorneys. All right. Well, let's see where it goes, because uh, the testimony starts today once again. Uh, and let's see if they continue to talk about how it was an October surprise, as they did yesterday. All right, Brett, thank you very much for joining us today from Utah. Thank you.